I recently photographed this shrine in Japan, but unfortunately someone walked into the frame as I was taking the shot. As it's something I can't go back to photograph again, I need to remove the lady from the scene. So in this video, I'll show you how I do this using a couple of Photoshop repair tools. My first step is to add a new empty layer where I can make the repair. I can do that by clicking the new layer icon at the bottom of the layers window. Alternatively, I can click the Photoshop layer menu and choose new and then layer. This displays the new layer dialog where I can enter the name of the new layer as remove reflection. We then see the new empty layer added at the top of the layer stack in the Photoshop layers window. Notice the thumbnail for this shows a checked pattern to indicate the layer is empty and transparent. I've added a new layer because it's easy to make a mistake when using the repair tools in Photoshop. Fixing things on a separate layer makes it easier to adjust the repair later without needing to start again. Now let's zoom in to 100% magnification to look more closely at the problems in this image. For the first repair, I want to remove the lady's reflection from the window. I'll do this using the Remove tool which was added in Photoshop 2023. It's grouped with the other repair tools like the Healing Brush and the Patch tool. If one of the other tools is showing in the Tools palette, right click on it to expand the group. You can then click the Remove tool to select it. Now before we use the tool, it helps to configure it first. You'll find its settings in the Contact Sensitive Toolbar when it's selected. The first setting that we need to choose is the Sample All Layers option. This allows us to use the tool to repair the image, but to make that repair onto the new empty layer. If we didn't select this, it would restrict the repair to being the layer that's selected in the Layer window. As that layer is empty, it will look like the tool isn't working because nothing is being copied. The other helpful setting to change is to turn off the Remove After Each Stroke option. Turning this off means that we can release the mouse brush when we're painting without it applying the repair. It's very useful when we want to paint over larger areas more carefully. If I paint over the reflection of the woman, you can see that I can release the mouse button without Photoshop actually trying to apply the fix. Then, once I've selected the entire area, I can click the tick icon in the toolbar to apply it. This makes for quite a convincing repair of the reflection. Now, rather than trying to remove the lady on the same layer, let's use a separate layer, just in case something goes wrong. As before, we need to add a new layer to the image. I'll click the new layer icon at the bottom of the layers window this time. Then I can rename the layer to be Remove Lady. Now, I'm not convinced that the Remove tool is going to be able to deal with removing the entire lady in one selection. Because of this, I'm going to select the top part of her body first. This also gives me a chance to highlight a neat feature that's often overlooked. Once I've positioned around an area and repositioned my brush on the starting point, the brush automatically fills in the area when I release the mouse. This is a real time saver, providing you remember to do it. If you find this then paints over an area that you don't want to select, switch the brush mode. You do this by clicking the minus icon to the left of the toolbar. You can then paint over the unwanted selection to remove it. After that, switch back to using the brush in the Add mode. When the lady is selected, I can click the tick icon to apply the repair. Now I can use the same brush to select her legs in the image. As before, I'll draw carefully around the area I want to remove. I don't want to select too much of the surroundings though, but I do want to ensure that the legs are completely selected. I can then click the tick mark to apply the change when I'm satisfied. At this point, you may be tempted to say the fix is complete, but we can improve it further. Notice the area where I've removed the reflection. It isn't a clean repair, and the edge of the window is soft and blurred. The same is true where the woman has been removed. What's happening is that the Remove tool has sampled the poor repair I made to the remove the reflection, and it's reproduced it. Let me show you an easy way to fix this now, using the Healing Brush tool. First, I'll click the Reflection Repair layer in the Layers window. This ensures that it's selected, and we're then applying our repair to that layer. 
Next, I can select the Healing Brush tool in the Photoshop Tools palette. This is in the same group of tools as the Remove tool, so I need to right click on the icon to expand the group. When the Healing Brush is selected, we can then see its controls in the Context Sensitive toolbar. I'll use the Healing Brush tool with the mode set to Normal. The source is then set to Sampled rather than Patterned, meaning I want to sample the image to make the repair. Then, in the Sample section, I can set it to select all layers. This means the Healing Brush will sample all the layers in the image when making the repair, and not just the currently selected layer. Now, the reason I'm using the Healing Brush and not the Spot Healing Brush for this is that the Healing Brush allows me to choose where the sample is taken. The Spot Healing Brush doesn't do that, and instead it will automatically choose a sample point without me being able to control it. This is important because of a poorly understood feature of the Healing Brush. When you set a sample point that contains detail in the image, the Healing Brush then acts like a clone tool and copies the area. It then additionally blends that copied area into the new location. You'll see what I mean as I use it. Here I want to select the edge of the window. To set the sample point, I'll position the brush over an area whilst holding down the Option key. If you're using a Windows PC, that's the Alt key. When I have the brush lined up over the edge of the window, I can click with the mouse to set the sample area. I'll then line up my brush and use it to paint over the area to repair. When it's in position, I just click and paint. As I paint, you can see that it's copying the edge of the window to make the repair. But notice it's also blending the copied area into its surroundings. That's something that the clone brush won't do. Now that we've cleaned up the reflection repair, you can see how much better it looks. Let's do the same now with the repair to remove the lady. As before, I'll click the layer I want to repair to ensure it's selected. I'll then set a new sample point by holding down my Option key and clicking with the mouse. I can then position the healing brush on the area I want to repair. Then, when I click and paint, it copies the edge of the window to produce a repair. The repair now looks much better as you can see if we turn off the two repair layers. And when I zoom out to show the entire area, you would never know a person has been removed from the photo. Now all I need to do is add a soft glow effect to the image using a frequency separation. If you want to know how I do that, watch this video next. Thanks for watching today, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon for another video.